Hi everyone, Suzanne here. Welcome back to my Tomb Raider 4 The Last Revelation playthrough. So today we are playing through the levels The Valley of the Kings and KV5. And yes, these are vehicle levels. If you've watched my previous playthroughs, you'll know that vehicles and me don't go together that well. So this level starts off with a cutscene that explains the main story of this game. So let's just start off by watching that. I, Semaket, High Priest of Horus, forewarned that he who removes the, the amulet shall have released said. He who walked abroad with the jackals at the dawn of man shall once again violate the earth. Harvests fail under the broken skies. My trusty companion returns. The amulet woman! Once called forth, shall the heavens split asunder, and the light of the sun god Horus banish the lord of darkness, set. I wouldn't advise it. Oops. <laughs> so, um, yeah, big, big, big mistake on Lara Croft's part. Lara emerges from the tomb and takes the Amulet of Horus out of her backpack. She reads its inscription aloud. The inscription says, I, Semerket, High Priest of Horus, Forewarn. Lara's voice then fades into the voice of Semerket. Forewarn that he who removes the amulet shall have released Set. He who walked abroad with the jackal at the dawn of man shall once again violate the earth. That really does not sound good. We then flash back to ancient events and see both the gods Set and Horus. We see the human priest Semerket and we see Set being entombed in a sarcophagus lined with spikes. So just a very brief piece of Egyptology here. So Horus is an Egyptian god, an enemy of his uncle Set. Horus is the falcon-headed god and is most notably god of kingship and the sky. Horus is the son of Osiris and Isis and is the divine child of the holy family triad. 
So that means that Osiris and Set are brothers. When Set murdered his brother Osiris and contested Horus' heritage, i.e. the royal throne of Egypt, Horus became Set's enemy. There's obviously a lot more detail than that to the story, but I just thought that was enough information just to give you an idea about the Egyptian gods we're dealing with. If you're still confused, I kind of think it's very similar to the Lion King. <laughs> Let's say Osiris is Mufasa, Set is Scar, and Horus is Simba. So that's kind of basically what happened. Semerket was the high priest of Horus, and we now know from this flashback that he helped Horus to imprison Set in his sarcophagus using the amulet. By removing the amulet, Lara has set in motion the arrival of Set, where he will gradually approach the earth to then be free to walk amongst mortals once more. So basically, Set has now began his approach to earth because he's been freed by Lara removing the amulet. So very soon he will arrive to earth and be able to walk on earth and cause all kind of evil chaos and destruction. Bad day at the office for Lara Croft. <laughs> the inscription continues, Set, ruler of evil, will again be free at the turn of a distant millennia. At his heel, plagues of locusts. The scene then shifts back to Lara kneeling in the desert, still reading the amulet's inscription. And can I just say, like, wow, that must be a tiny inscription that all of that is inscribed on that quite small amulet. That's impressive. The skies begin to darken as clouds roll in. The inscription continues. Harvests fail under the broken skies, Lara says, as her guide, Ahmed, yeah, he's back, approaches her silently and cocks a pistol at Lara's temple, the backstabbing little traitor. Ahmed demands that Lara give him the amulet and Lara, who honestly looks like she couldn't give a sugar that there's a gun pointed at her head, continues reading. Once called forth shall the heavens split asunder and the light of the sun god Horus banish the lord of darkness set. As Lara speaks Seth's name, a lightning bolt strikes the tomb entrance, scattering rubble and knocking the guide off his feet. Lara grabs her weapons and as Ahmed struggles to sit up and grab his own gun, Lara says, I wouldn't advise it. We then hear a horn as a Land Rover arrives full of mercenaries. The shockwave from the explosion spreads out towards the vehicle. And so this is where it gets juicy. So Ahmed is actually working for Werner von Croy, that guy. So Ahmed is being paid by Werner von Croy to take the amulet of Horus from Lara and deliver it to him. Luckily for Ahmed, the tomb explosion caused the arrival of more of von Croy's henchmen, allowing Ahmed to escape in a jeep. So the next level is of course going to be us chasing Ahmed in our own car across the Valley of the Kings. And just to really briefly mention the Valley of the Kings for anyone who doesn't know or is interested, the Valley of the Kings is a valley in Egypt where for a period of nearly 500 years, from the 16th to 11th century BC, rock cut tombs were made for the pharaohs and powerful nobles of the time. So some of the most famous tombs that are there are one I think everybody's heard of, Tutankhamun or Tutankhamun. Um, I'm not really sure which way to pronounce it, but I'm sure everyone knows what I mean. One of the most famous Egyptian tombs ever. And also the tomb of Ramses II. Oh, that was a lot of info. Thanks for sticking through that. And now let's just get into the level. Okay, so yeah, lucky for Ahmed, his friends, Von Croy's other henchmen, showed up to save him. Ahmed's headed over to his jeep to try and escape, so we just need to kill all of Von Croy's henchmen that have arrived, pick up some goodies, and then we're gonna chase him. Okay. Uh, ooh. I actually need my shotgun. Hang on. Ugh. Oi, who's that? Oh. Okay, 
Oh, there's another one. There's so many. Is that it? Oh, no. Why is he just standing there? Ahmed's such a coward. Now that the coast is clear, he's like, well, I guess I'll I'll walk to my jeep then. No, I don't like him. Okay, so while I'm... I got a second monitor, which is amazing, but stuff keeps flashing on it in the corner of my eye and distracting me. It's really hard to get used to, but it's really awesome now having a second monitor because I can actually see the microphone recording now and also the game footage recording, so I can actually check like and see if it stopped while I'm playing and stuff like that which is really really cool so while I'm picking this stuff up um just also want to say that uh yeah I'm so sorry that my last video turned out so dark and that the music sound was so low I don't know why it set itself that low the music um it just did and I didn't notice so Really, really sorry about that. I have fixed it for this level, I hope. And, oh, I missed a medipack. Missed a medipack. And, um, is there anything up here, actually? And I do hope that I have fixed the brightness issues. Thank you so much to everyone who took the time to comment and give me like tips and suggestions on things to try. Um, I've tried a few different things, which I really hope helped. There we go. Okay, so the secret sound is louder. That's good. It's a good sign. Um, oh, okay. And I also installed a patch as well. Um, ooh, keys. That I think makes the graphics better and it just kind of makes it... Ahmed's in here right now. Why can't we just shoot the windows and, you know, pummel him or something? Anyway. Yeah, there you go, Ahmed. Take that, take a flare. Um, so yeah, I have installed those as well, which I really hope helps. And there is another secret, oh, it's over here. I think the secret is over here. And I have also installed a new recording software. So I think it was the recording software that I was using. Just wasn't for some reason able to record this game properly and um, so no matter what settings I chose in the game it was just always going to record dark for some reason so I am trying out a new recording software today and um, I don't like change I don't like new things they stress me out so I'm a little bit like nervous about using this new recording software so i keep glancing over to make sure it's still working um so yeah we'll see how it goes wow the landscape here is gorgeous okay can i slide down here oh yikes i guess not but maybe i can oh well that was fun so yeah, long story short, I have tried multiple different things to try and improve the quality. We'll see how it goes. If it still doesn't work very well, I will continue to tweak. But thank you so, so much to everyone who helped me and gave me suggestions. I'll have a pinned comment down below with my proper thank yous to everyone. And it really did mean a lot to me that people took the time to help and also the people who said that they enjoyed the video anyway because I was kind of upset putting up the video because I just thought like it wasn't great quality and that nobody would want to watch it or enjoy it so the fact that everyone was so lovely about it um really meant a lot to me as well so thanks okay 
Let's go. Right. Okay. Oh. <gasps> oh my god. Why do I just keep driving into these bombs? Or grenades, I should say. <gasps> How do I... Uh oh. Hang on. I need a medipack. How do I reverse? Oh, there we go. Yeah, come here. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Okay. Right. The controls of this are confusing, but it's fine. What an absolute tune as well. Ram. Oh, okay. Hang on. I want to go up here because I want to kill. I want to kill this guy. Bring it. <laughs> oh, that's break. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, I can't. Oh, no. I was trying to get out um, the other side of the car because, well, that's where we have the steering wheel. I'm getting confused. I need I need space. Yeah. My driving has not improved. Okay. So we just need to pop down here for a secret. Whoa, what happened? Bugs. Bugs galore. forgetting that she can't pull up unless she's hanging down. It's so stupid. So stupid. Okay, guess I need another flare. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited and nervous to see how this footage turns out. I really hope it's a lot better than the last level. Wait, what were those? Hang on. Picked up a box of something. Grenades! Ooh. Okay. Grenades, super ammo. I see. To the ooh, to the car. Right, let's go. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Oh, <gasps> bam. Don't think so, buddy. Where are you? Oh, crap. Oh, I drove right into it. Bam. Woohoo. Ooh. Okay, hang on. We need to check that we got all the secrets. So, checking the stats. At the end of Valley of the Kings, we should have had 21 out of 70 secrets, which we do. So that's great. We got everything, I think. I may have missed some pickups, but I'm not going for all pickups in Tomb Raider 4. It's confusing enough already. If I get all the secrets, I'll be happy enough. Okay, let's go. Right. Oh no. I keep, I keep making it so I can't get out of the car. Hang on, let me back up. Oh. So I guess we're inside a tomb. 
now. Um, oh, and actually, while we're here, this is a good point to pause and just talk about the name of this level. Also, it's kind of stupid that Ahmed is trying to like get away from us, but yet he sits there and waits for us to catch up to him. Anyway, so this level is called KV5 and I was like, what the hell is KV5? Why is it called KV5? So KV5 is one of the subterranean rock cut tombs in the Valley of the Kings. It belonged to the sons of Ramses II. Though it was partially excavated in 1825, its true extent was not discovered until 1995. It is now known to be the largest tomb in the Valley of the Kings. So I don't know if like this tomb is meant to be KV-5 or if we at some point like drive past KV-5 or something like that. I'm honestly not 100% sure. But it's just interesting to know that KV-5 is the largest tomb in Valley of the Kings, which I did not know. Okay, so this part of my footage is really going to test if my new adjustments I made have worked because this is quite dark, so we'll see what it looks like. I'm super stressed about this. Okay, let's just let's just go and continue chasing Ahmed. Stop throwing grenades, Ahmed. Ooh. Oh, it doesn't let you look when you're in the car. Hang on a second. Okay. Wow. Look how stunning that is. And they want you to just drive past that in the car and not even look at it. That is just so amazing. The detail they put into this game is crazy. Let's continue. Continue after Ahmed. There, oh. Don't worry, I'm coming back for you. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Yeah. Why waste bullets when you don't have to? That's what I say. Oh. Crash. I want the secret though. Kind of sad that they stop the music every time you get out, but oh well. What can you do? Wow, I can really see an improvement in the graphics um, since I installed one of the patch, one of the patches that was recommended. Um, by Dennis, so thank you so much for recommending that to me. Uh, it looks amazing. Right, and there's, oh, there's another guy here. Yeah, there we go. Whoa, okay. Okay, Lara, calm down, calm down, ooh. I, oh God, right, oh. Just turn, just turn, just turn slightly. Just, okay, back, back up slowly. Right. Slow, okay. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, Lara. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I'm so stressed, okay. Yeah, for anyone who's new to my videos, um, even though I am a gamer and I have played games my entire life and I do really enjoy games, I'm not good with technology. And that might seem weird, but honestly, I used to just game as a child on, you know, kind of PS1 and Xbox and you don't really need to know much about technology to do that and then in recent years I have been gaming a little bit on PC but never where I would like improve the quality of the games or like record anything or anything like that so honestly oh hang on someone made a noise <gasps> rude 
Um, yeah, so honestly, technology, I'm not great at, but I feel like I'm learning a lot and really improving recently, <laughs> slowly but surely. So um, yeah, it just, it takes me, it takes me a while. I'm like Sansa, I'm a slow learner, but I learn. <laughs> so um, I think we just jump back up here after getting that. Grab, Lara, grab, please. Thank you. Okay, um, oh yeah. And then we go to this one. And there's a medipack in here. As I said in the last video, they really do stock you up. Oh, there is a rope there. I was like, where's the rope? It was almost invisible. They do really stock you up on medipacks and things like that in this game. So, oh, I forgot how to use the rope for a second. So, yeah, it's not it's not as um, punishing as Tomb Raider 3. They more went for puzzle confusion in this game than you know, running out of medipacks or ammo. Right, so I'm just going to grab a couple of these pickups. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that's everything. And oh, her little footsteps are so cute. I love it. Let's go. Okay, we're coming for you. Oh, Jesus. <gasps> right. I'm going to get out here because we need to get a secret again. Um... I'll take that. Yep, I was gonna be all like, we're coming for you, Ahmed, you know, we're gonna get you, but no, he he completely got got me in, in that one. I'll give him that. <laughs> okay, jump back and get more grenades. That's nice. Right. Let's go. Oh crap, that's a hole! No! Oh yeah, and the new patch that I installed gave you the option to um, have a game over screen, which I thought was really cool. So I was like, yes, please. Okay, stick to this side. Mind the hole. No, don't you dare. <laughs> Oh my god, I actually nearly drove into that hole again. No! Okay, you know what? Let's just... Just get out. Get out, Lara. I can't... I can't cope with this right now, okay? Oh. So yeah, these levels are super short if you're not um, getting pickups or the secrets. Because that honestly takes up most of the level, so I am sorry if this is boring. Okay, come on, pick it up. And, uh, ooh, crossbows. Awesome. Okay. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Okay, and then, yeah, we just... Ooh, it's dark here. Um, then we just, obviously, like, climb back up. <laughs> okay, let's go, let's go. Okay, where is he? That's a hole! That's a hole! <sighs> Don't... No. Oh my god. What? 
What is wrong with me? I don't even know. Ha! Yeah, take that. Take that. I want to keep- oh, I want to keep ramming him. Mind the hole. Mind the hole. Where did he go? Got oh, Jesus! Who the hell just walks around Valley of the Kings digging random holes? He's at- uh, Oh, he's going too fast for me now. Okay, stay over this side. Stay over this side. Gotcha. Oh, God. Right, I want to kill this guy because I'm angry now. Ready, go. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Break, break. We need to check our stats. So yes, at the end of KB5, we should have 25 out of 70 secrets, which we do. So yay, good for us. woman has outsmarted you, yeah? And now she escapes. The amulet, Herr von Croy. It talks of the priest, Semerket. Semerket. Okay, so that was really exciting. Lara races through the desert in the jeep, still hot on Ahmed's trail. She reaches the River Nile, only to realize that Von Croy's men have set up a blockade at the ferry landing. Lara decides that no blockade is gonna stop her and she's just gonna smash through it anyway. Lara opens fire and manages to ignite a henchman's grenade, which blows up the blockade, which allows Lara to smash through and jump the jeep onto the boat all while avoiding the henchmen's gunfire. Pigs and chickens are flying. <laughs> As the ferry sails away, Von Croy arrives in his shiny black car. He starts giving out to Ahmed, or I guess I should say like yelling at, berating Ahmed because I don't know, tell me if you use the term giving out, but I feel like that's only an Irish thing. So yeah, like to give out to someone is to like, shout at them, something like that. So yeah, I don't know. Let me know. But anyway, Von Croy starts giving out to Ahmed for letting Lara escape. Ahmed then states that the amulet talked of the priest Semerket. So I guess that just kind of gives Von Croy and his men some clue about where to go or what to do next, knowing that the amulet is somehow connected to the priest Semerket. So yeah, I still don't like Von Croy. I think he's a giant baby who blames a 16 year old child for not like rescuing him when he made a stupid decision 15 years ago, like get over it. So yeah, I don't know. I just, I've never liked Von Croy. I do think he's a good character. Like I'm happy he's in the Tomb Raider franchise. I just don't like, I love to hate him, you know, because he just irritates me. <laughs> but yeah, he's basically super salty at Lara, not only because she abandoned him and left him when she was 16, but also because um, she did break into his headquarters 
a few years ago, I would say, and stole the iris from him. So yeah, he he doesn't like Lara that much. So I'm not sure if maybe that's the only reason he decided to go after the amulet of Horus as well, because he knew Lara wanted it. That part's kind of unclear. But yes, I do hope you enjoyed this video. I feel like the story is really getting started now. It's getting kind of juicy. The next level, we will be heading to Karnak. So the next part of the game is where we really have interconnecting levels where you hop in and out of the levels. I'll be visiting each level twice. So I think that's how I'm going to divide up Temple of Karnak. So it's going to be in two videos and we're going to visit each of the three levels once in each video. So yeah, I'm really, really excited about that. There's crocodiles in the next level. I'm not excited about that, but uh, yeah, it should be fine. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for watching. Do please consider hitting the subscribe button and I will see you in my next video.